Hello, I'm Refab Fashion. I'm a reseller based in Boston, and I have stores on uh, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I sell mainly clothing, shoes, some accessories, but some hard goods from time to time. Um, I have a haul today from a Savers thrift store uh, from last week. There was a 30% off coupon, and I was looking to get a number of things, as much as I could, really, that I wanted to sell to restock my store. I really haven't been thrifting or listing for November and December. So now that it's January, I'm ready to replenish. Um, my store is right now under 500 active listings. I like to be around 500, maybe up to 600, depending on what I'm finding and um, you know, time of year and the, the speed of sales, it fluctuates. Um, so on this trip, I have 34 items today that I found. I was, I'm pretty excited about most of them. Some are more bread and butter basic pieces for not a lot of money, but I found some really good brands. And again, with the 30% off, it was a great price point um, for most of these items, more so than I typically find. So 34 items, it was $5.31 per item this day. So this first item here is Abercrombie & Fitch cardigan sweater. There's some Angora rabbit hair in here. Uh, the Argyle print on the front, ribbed on the back. It's a size large. Uh, 579 and then the 30% off so that was a really great price I didn't look it up to see what style if it's new or old but I just felt like the style was uh, still on trend I found another size either a small or medium uh, on the same day of that same sweater which I was excited to have a multi quantity listing but there was uh, a little bit of staining on the other sweater so I left it this one here I don't know the uh, brand it's tweeds I did not look this up it's a size medium, uh, just a one button at the top, a bell sleeve, and this knit is just very pretty. Reminds me of a cottage core, fairy core style, uh, so I did want to pick this up. There is Angora rabbit hair in this as well, 15% and 15% wool. Um, so I thought this was a good piece to pick up for the $4.79 and then the 30% off of that price. This is a Free People sweater. Free People tends to be priced pretty high where I thrift, um, and with just how much is listed online, I tend to not really gravitate towards Free People. Uh, I did not look this up or do comps. It's a size small. It was priced at $12.49, so it is on the higher end, but with everything I was getting this day, I just knew it would um, kind of work out all right. That average cost of $5.31 is fine for this. The texture of the sweater is very nice. It's got the drop sleeve, a bit oversized, and with the hot pink kind of Barbie core color still on trend, I decided to go for this one. This is a 100% cashmere sweater. I really like this color, this kind of chestnut brown, camel brown color. I checked it over really well for holes. Uh, there's really not much pilling either, but that doesn't deter me. Uh, this is not a brand that I'm familiar with. This was priced at $9.49 before the discount, um, but the sweaters have been selling well around that $30, $35 mark for me right now, and cashmere sells all, all year long, so um, even though it was a little pricier, um, it was still a good buy for the condition it's in. This is a Talbots cardigan. Uh, this is priced at $8.49, so higher than I would want to pay for Talbots, but again, on this day, I just knew the price would be a little lower. It also has more going on. It's a 1X uh, long sleeve, and I just really like this print. There's like a metallic in the fabric, and then the print to it, and the colors, so I think this will sell well for me. This was on a new rack right when I came in. This is a marine layer piece. Just plain gray, but it is a modal spandex blend. It's very soft. Um, it's a size large, which is a great size. And the price was just $2.49. So then with that 30% off on top, um, the basics I, from them, um, if it's a newer piece, like some of the pants can sell very well for a good price. This I don't expect to sell for a lot, maybe around $20, but with my buy cost being so low, um, and just needing to really stock up on this day, I, I picked that up. This brand I'm not familiar with, but again, this sweater it was about the fabric, the size, it's a size large, it's a silk cashmere blend, and it has this great animal print to it. No holes, really no pilling, 
Um, so Peck and Peck collection, not one I'm familiar with. I did not look it up. Um, the price for me was $4.79, so pretty reasonable for cashmere and silk. This I debated a little bit on. Uh, this is a brand that I've looked into before. I have not sold before. It's Miss Sook, which I believe is a designer brand. There can be some vintage pieces. Um, I don't know if they're still modern and still making clothes or not. It's a size small. It's an open cardigan, but it is pretty oversized. This has shoulder pads, so I think it's probably an older item. I did not look into this and look it up. There's a thrift store that I go to, uh, a local church that has a thrift shop, and they had a bunch of pieces in there. And they had marked it up to $10, $20 a piece, so I spent some time researching and looking into that, and for that price point, it wasn't worth it at the time, so I just used that research knowledge to apply it to this. So with the price on this, $13.99 with my discount, um, but quite honestly, the print on this is better than what I had found before. The others were more plain. This has more of a print, which I think is what uh, people are interested in in this brand. It's a longer sweater, open. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. In the dresses section, I found a few pieces, not too much. The, the dresses section here tends to not have a lot of great pieces at the store. Um, and a lot of people um, like to go there, uh, go to the aisle first, and it's really just one aisle, it's all packed in, so it can be a little crowded, and for my time to go through everything, I don't tend to find too much, but this day, um, I scanned just the new tag colors, the purple color. This is uh, silk on the outer lay piece, and then there's like a camisole slip uh, underneath. I had not seen this tag or this brand before so I did look up the brand and it looked to be doing okay so I, I'm giving this one a try. Um, I'm not sure yet if this is like lingerie, a dress, or more of kind of a cover-up piece. The style with these kind of wings on the edge, the flares, reminds me of more of a bathing suit cover-up as well as that tie in the middle which uh, this and the next piece too, you know, this time of year people are booking more vacations, tropical trips, beach trips uh, to get out of the cold weather. So people are looking for kind of vacation beachy items. Um, so that motivated me to give that one a try right now. And this is the other one that I think is a bathing suit cover up. It's 100% linen. I've not heard of this brand before. It does have a lining, but it's still a bit see-through. That's why I think it might be a bathing suit cover-up. Um, but it might just be a nice kind of beachy vacation dress. There's these slits in the sleeves all the way down, a tie at the sleeve. Um, the cost to this was $6.79 before the discount. There are a couple of stains. There's this one here. But with all white pieces, you know, if they're small and... Um, you know, even I had a piece recently that had like a hot pink section stain, maybe about that big. Um, but with the white, I can do some stain treatment with bleach, hydrogen peroxide, or just run it in the washer with some bleach. So I usually save up my white items that need some stain treating and just do a batch all together. So that stain didn't intimidate me with that. And again, with the price point, if I really can't get it out, it'll just be a loss or maybe I'll list it with the stain. This dress here I was excited to find. Uh, the style is not my, I don't think it's particularly on trend, the tie-dye. It is maxi, it's a stretchy kind of jersey material with a long slit. Um, it's a size medium, although that's a kind of a small medium, it definitely will fit tightly. But this brand I have sold once, Mijo by Michelle Jonas. Uh, I got this brand in a thread up rescue box. I think it was a silk piece. I think it was just a top, not a whole dress. But when I researched it and listed it, it sold really well. I think around $100 uh, for that silk piece and the buyer was really happy with that. That was an eBay sale. So seeing that brand, um, I knew I wanted to try that again. This I debated a little bit. I did look it up. This is a Zara dress, more of a, again, that summer, type of dress with the slit. There's some boning or corseting at the top. 
uh, which I, I thought was appealing to trying to pick this up and trying to sell it. Uh, it is new with tags. Uh, the price was $13.49, so on the higher side, it's a size medium. I looked it up. There's, I guess this style dress comes in a few prints, print types, but being new with tags, and again, it kind of has that tropical feel, so I was thinking that well, could be a good time for this going into spring, but also people um, planning their vacations and wanting some items for their vacation. This is also a Zara piece. $13.49, again, new with tags. Uh, this is a size extra, extra large, which is a great size. It's um, a summer dress again, kind of a lot of ruching here on the bust and at the back, a tie for around the waist or at the back. And I'd say this is a midi length, midi to maxi, depending on the height of the person. Uh, so I thought this would do well. I did not look up the style specifically um, but being new with tags and a great size and just the style and the, um, the length of the dress. Uh, this one here, again, new with tags, Ann Taylor, an extra large. This was part of 1049. This is a linen blend, I believe, black, short puff sleeves, but a maxi length dress with a tie at the waist attached here and the new with tags. So this one was a definite yes for me as well. couple of blazers. In this store, I like to go to the blazers section first. I find other people go either to the dresses section or this time of year to the sweater section. That's kind of the first uh, bunch of rows are the sweaters. So I like to go right to the blazers. I did find this uh, We the Free extra small blazer. This was only marked at $4.29. So the price definitely helped me make this decision, but it's a velvet floral Kind of earthy colors, the gold, brown, mauve. I did not look up the exact style or research it yet, but for that price, the $4.29, before the discount and the material and the fit, that kind of slouchy feel to the material, um, I think that's going to be a good, a good sell. This is a vintage item, I believe, casual corner, not really anything I'm looking for brand-wise. This is marked at $9.99. It's 100% wool. I checked it over really well for holes, but there still might be some being black. But I just liked the military sort of feel to this. It's double-breasted with the gold buttons, kind of simple on the back side. So I, I like this. It's just enough detail without being too thematic. Uh, gold buttons at the cuff, fully lined, 100% wool. Um, and the size is a 14, so a great larger size. I do well with blazers. I Usually it's about the price for me, so at Savers they can be priced definitely over 10. Usually 9.99 is the lowest I find, so it has to have a little bit more going on than just a plain black or navy blue blazer, um, but this one feels like it has a little of those details that uh, I can ask for more. Um, definitely 30 to 40. I'll probably price it between 40 and 50 to start, um, but that will be something to expect offers on and maybe negotiate down a bit. This uh, is the one kind of shirt I got. I think this was on a new rack, and that's why I got it, because I didn't go to the shirt section. This is Cooley Bar. It's a UPF uh, sun protection clothing. I think most of their items, if not all, have that. It's a chambray long denim shirt with roll tab sleeves. So you can roll that up. Size large. Uh, this brand does okay. I think the sell-through rate is better than the price point, um, but I think this will be a good piece. Again, as people are looking to go on vacation and looking for that kind of attire. This is a new brand to me, Daily Drills. It's kind of a nylon bubble skirt, but it's a skirt. I checked it over well, given that it's white. Um, but it looked in good shape. And I looked up the brand, and this is demanding a pretty good price. Um, I didn't look specifically for this item, but in general, just the brand had strong pricing, so I, I went for it. it. This was priced at $4.79 before the discount, so definitely a, a great one to try. I think I'm going to be able to get around $50 for that. 
this skirt. I didn't go through the skirt section. I It's across from the blazers part on the same aisle, so I usually just glance at the new tag items. And in particular, I'm looking for patterns and more of this wool tweed sort of feel. So I, I looked at this. It's not a brand that I would seek out, M&S Collection. I think that might be a boutique brand, but it's new without tag. And really this print, this Aztec type print, it has a little bit of wool in this, uh, but mostly synthetic, but this mini skirt style. Um, I'll probably tag this Aztec Western and also Preppy and Academia, even though it's not that classic Academia print with the plaid or the houndstooth. Um, but I think people in that aesthetic will enjoy uh, something like that as well. These, I believe, are men's pants. Uh, I think I found them on a new rack and maybe in the women's section. These are Cuba Vera, a linen blend, white, new with tags. There is a little bit of dust at the bottom, so I'll try my best to get the dust off and then just disclose and take good pictures um, of the dust that's there. Uh, 32 length, size large, uh, but I do believe these are men's. I'll have to look that up though. But these were priced at $12.99 before my uh, coupon discount. So a little bit higher than I'd want to spend for this brand, uh, but with the new with tags, I think these would be great. Beach pants, golf pants. Um, so we'll give those a try. These leggings, I looked through the athletic wear, athletic wear uh, didn't find too much. It's, I think that's another section a lot of people go to, but these are the Offline by Airy, uh, size medium. These are the only ones I, I look to pick up. They're the crossover uh, waist. These are kind of an olive green, army green color. I checked really well for pilling here in between the legs. Um, and it's, I think, a 7 8 length. Um, the price on this was $5.79, which I wouldn't want to pay any more than that, but these tend to be a fast flip. In particular on Mercari, I think I sell most of these there, so the platform fee is less than the other platforms, uh, so I can at least double my money and have a quick sale for those. This is a Figs scrub top. Um, the Figs logo on here is a rainbow. Um, this is their technical line, a size medium, gray. I'll have to look up the style. There is usually a style code on these and there didn't seem to be any staining here. And this was priced at $4.99. All right, the last section here, I've got pants and jeans to share with you. This was priced at $6.49. These are Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't pick up all Abercrombie jeans. I debated on these ones. I did look them up and the, the sell through and the pricing wasn't as great as like the 90s high rise, but I think the flare will do well and the black denim. Um, these are a size 27 or four. They're called the flare ultra high rise. No puckering, no stretching. And being $6.49, I thought that was a good Price. Sometimes I've bought them at that $9.99 price point or even about $12 if it's that 90s uh, mom jean or uh, the baggy jean. And they don't sell for more than 30. I try to get uh, close to 50, but usually I'm landing around 40. So um, that can be a good turnaround. These were in the regular jeans section, but these are maternity jeans from Joe's Jeans. And I did comp these and look them up and they look to be doing all right. They're a straight leg style, which I think is on trend right now. Uh, they're called the Lara Mid-Rise Cigarette Ankle, size 27, uh, but in great condition, no puckering, no, no stretch out to the elastic panels. Um, I have not sold Joe's Maternity before. I have a J brand maternity pair listed and I think I previously sold a J brand maternity uh, with a different style. The one I've listed now is a skinny fit uh, in a small size, so it's definitely gonna take longer. These are mother jeans, which I was pleasantly surprised to find. And these were just on the rack. These were not on a new rack. Uh, button fly, a lighter wash, size 30, great size. These are the Scrapper Ankle Jeans and Camera Obscura Wash. So I'm looking forward to that.
forward to listing those, $6.99. So things are priced variably. Um, some things like this should be marked up way higher, whereas other things at the 13 for Zara were uh, kind of really overpriced. So it's a whole range. That's why I like to do the average cost of goods for a trip and just have that in my mind as I'm shopping. So if I know I'm really finding some underpriced items, but then I'm paying more than I would like to for some other brands, I don't always think about it strictly brand by brand on a shopping trip. These were a great score. Um, these were not on the new rack. These were just on the in the pants section, um, marked really reasonably. So these are Frank and Eileen jeans, a size six, a light wash. I don't know that I've ever found Frank and Eileen at the thrift store or sold it. This was $3.79 on the price tag. There is a spot stain on the front, but for that price and this brand, I decided to pick it up and try. I'm going to Try to do some spot treatment to that. I think hydrogen peroxide um, will be my first try. And if that doesn't lighten it, I might try bleach, but I'd be hesitant to kind of leave a bleach mark. So um, I'm not scared to just list it with a spot stain and let the buyer decide if they feel that they can attempt to get that out, which they might have a better trick than I do. More Frank and Eileen, this was a size six. A cotton chino pant, lightweight, um, cut off, frayed hem, and this was priced at $349, so really undervalued by the thrift store, and happy to find these, the brand and that price. And the third pair, this is a size 4, a periwinkle, I think the same style and cut, it feels that same lightweight cotton, the cut off at the bottom, but these are priced at $699. are express leggings all over sequins. I checked really well to make sure that there weren't patches of missing sequins on here. They're a size medium, priced at $6.99. This was not the new tag, so these have been sitting there. And I did take time to look it up on eBay. I didn't look for a particular style name or, or get that detailed, but just sequins, leggings, um, and the sell-through rate looked okay. The price point was between 20 and 30. I think for these, they're, I'm not gonna list them as new or like new, but they're really, if they've been worn, they've just been worn once, I think. Uh, so hopefully I can highlight that in the pictures and in the description and get closer to 30 uh, in a couple of months. Uh, this next batch of pants here, these were on a new rack. I was about to leave, um, but a new rack came out and I checked. And just by the feel, I could tell these are the Chico's Travelers line, so that slinky, stretchy uh, material. These are all the same size, all four pants. So three of these are black and full length, uh, $7.99 on the price tag. I'm not going to show all of them to you. I think they were all priced at the $7.99, yes. Uh, and then one pair of more of a, a cut off um, capri length, but all $7.99. Um, so to if I truly have a few of the same pair and they really are in the same condition, I might make a multi-quantity listing. Although with used items, I don't tend to want to do that uh, because I want to have the pictures of the actual item listed. I don't like to have people thinking that the condition of one used item and let's say the amount of pilling or like with the pants, the amount of elastic stretch, that it's the same for all if it is a little different. So um, I'll have to decide if I'm gonna list those together or uh, each, each their own listing. And the last item, number 34, Jay McLaughlin floral pants. Again, more of a springtime item, but happy to list it now, size 12. And this was priced at just $6.99 pull-on stretch, I think a great pair. I don't know how this is gonna do compared to the dresses. The dresses seem to do well for me um, and sell pretty quickly and for a strong price, you know, 30 to $50. Um, so I'm sure I'll be able to find the exact style, hopefully of these, um, maybe that will help. Um, but they seem with the pull-on styling that that matches the, the typical shopper at Jay McLaughlin and what they like to look for, that comfortable material. 
So thank you for hanging out for this haul and I hope that it inspires you with what sort of things you might be on the lookout for and excited to list and sell yourself. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.